Okay, what is up guys? Small Town Retro Gamer here, coming at you with a quick uh, pickup video. And the reason is, we've been traveling cross country, getting back to Nevada from Montana, stopped in Denver to see some of the girlfriend's friends, and then got here, and you know, we didn't find a whole bunch of stuff along the way, nothing worth really filming. Um, stopped at some places in Denver, stopped a couple places here and we got back, and really didn't find a whole bunch. So today's gonna be some controllers, uh, some DVDs, and then very few video games, but we'll get to it right now. Starting off, before we left Montana, I was really hoping that I'd find a lot of video games with this, but I did find a lot of controllers. We got a PS2 controller, $2.99. Another one, this one was $3.99 for some reason. Uh, some Xbox 360 controllers, we got one of them, two of them, three of them, all for $3.99. And then another PS2 controller, one of the dual-log uh, colored ones for $1.99. So not a bad deal there for those. I was actually looking for some 360 controllers, so that ain't bad. Uh, the next place is a thrift store in Butte that we hit a couple times. I never filmed because we never find anything there. They were doing a sale on DVDs where they were two for a dollar. So I just got some little kid ones, probably for the classroom. Igor, Molly Moon, whatever that is. This one looked cool, Bump in the Night. Goosebumps 2, The Muppets movie, really good one, love that movie, uh, The Jetsons, Robo Wrestlemania, Legend of Oz, Dorothy Returns, I want to say I saw someone talk about this and say that it's like one of the worst movies I've ever seen, so I had to pick that one up, and one that will be used in school a lot, Schoolhouse Rocks, love showing those for like test prep days, um, moving on, we'll go with this. In Denver, stopped at a store called Game Force, a game I've been looking for for a while. This is called Ninjas, featuring going on. 37 bucks, goes anywhere from like 30 to 40 usually, so not a bad pickup there. And the only other two finds in Denver were, this was, I can't even remember what this one was called, the store we brought it at, but it was $2.99. Everywhere, road trip, about a $10 game. It's complete, disc is a little bit scratched. And then the goat find of forever, Stuart Little, for $1.99. It was a yellow tag day, so it was a dollar. It's complete. That disc is pretty scratched, too, but why not? And then two more finds. These are both Goodwill finds. This was before we left. Got Crash of the Titans. Complete in pretty good shape for, I want to say, $2.99. I don't think that was a half off yet. Then we got two movies we got Ernest the movie collection and rounders it's Matt Damon a poker movie this one's actually pretty good I don't believe I've seen it or haven't seen it in a while and then one that I wish I would have filmed because we actually found stuff here uh, video game related but I just didn't get around to it was the Goodwill right when we got back I said you know we have to stop at Savers we have to stop at Goodwill and at Savers I found for $2.99 this Pokemon get it the right way a uh, little 35 millimeter camera, just going to be cool to hang up or put somewhere. It actually came in a serial giveaway from what I've heard, read online. Don't know if it works. Like I said, just a cool piece to put on a shelf. And then at a Goodwill, we found some games and some movies. The movies, National Treasure 2, for the girlfriend, that was not my pickup, $2.99. Not that I don't like National Treasure 2, but uh, Dragon Age Redemption with Felicia Day from kind of what the guild or something in a web series I've never watched then a movie I saw on sci-fi a long time ago sorry I don't know why that got so out of focus saw on sci-fi a long time ago survival or pinata survival island one of the dumbest movies I've ever seen but it's super funny Jamie Lee Presley's in it uh, pinata on a Mexican island goes around and kills a bunch of people and then the three games we were able to find were $2.99 and then $3.99 and $3.99. The $2.99 one, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Always a good one. Trade in for about five, six bucks. And then two Xbox 360 games I didn't have. Amped 3. Surprised to see I didn't have that. Completely in good shape. And Quake 4, which I swear I had, but when we were in Montana, we did the. Uh, organizing of the games list and I did not have this one so for four bucks I figured why not and that was it I know this is a very short video I'm hoping to continue doing videos throughout the school year it does get a little bit harder but I'll be in Reno and the Sparks area a lot more so I'll be able to actually hit savers and stuff 
Um, and last but not least, the next video will probably be pickups from a retail store. I brought in a bunch of the doubles that we got from Montana. Got a pretty good amount of store credit for them. So I'll show those off next time. Peace.